the tidal mud flats of the Sundarbans. Barren at first glance. But look closer and this great expanse teems with the strangest creatures. A secret world of tiny animals revealed by the waning tide. A mud skipper. No ordinary fish. They spent most of their lives on land. A fish out of water. Their fins look like elbows, which they use to drag themselves along. Their gill chambers are their scuba diving gear. Instead of air, they carry their personal supply of water. And that's how they breathe on land. But why has this evolutionary curiosity undergone such bizarre adaptations only to live on land? The answer is in the mud. The sediments brought in by the tide are rich in tiny plants and animals. An abundance of nutritious food. Mud skippers can be very possessive of their patch of mud. Intruders are not welcome. Arrival. Equally matched in size to the dominant male. It's time for a mud wrestle. The intruder has had enough. He's lost the battle. The winner keeps his favourite patch of mud for another day. But mud skippers are not the only animals fighting over all this sludge. A fiddler crab. The males have one claw larger than the other. It's a weapon, naturally, to defend his territory. The bigger the claw, the greater the fighter. But the claw has another purpose. This male has spotted a female near his burrow. Now the claw becomes a hand to wave at her. She's busy feeding. But he's a persistent suitor. He's decided to follow her around. Still waving. Still ignoring. And then as a sign of consent, 
she enters his burrow. Quite matter of fact. He follows her in, coaxing her out to mate. Deed done, she gets straight back to business. A passionate suitor seems still a little wanting. With the rising tide, the animals retreat to their burrows. Waiting for the next low tide to resume their daily dance.